She's getting ready to jump center against Kylie Watson. And Cochran didn't even contest it. Maddie Westfeld left it short. Cochran got the first of what will surely be many rebounds. Louisville with three grad transfers in the lineup. Taylor, Jefferson, Ricards, Harris, a sophomore, much improved over last year. And we've already talked about Olivia Cochran, who has been invaluable. Here she is, number three in white. Hannah Hidalgo, she is so quick. It's so hard to contain her coming off the ball screen. Louisville likes to switch, and when they get a bigger player on Hidalgo, she can generally get to the rim, Pam. And she's a very good free throw shooter. She's shooting seven free throws per game on average, and you referenced the ball screens in the last game on Sunday, and it really worked for Hannah. That was one of her best games in the ball screen. They ran ten ball screen actions for her. She either scored or got fouled on eight of them. Pam, 80%. That's a pretty good percentage in one action for the freshman. And Jeff Walls likes that ball screen action, likes to switch on everything. And there's Jeff Walls in his 17th year. He's done such a fantastic job with this Louisville program. His 10th NCAA tournament with them. And every time they have gotten at least to the quarterfinals. And the L. Ivy, who won a national championship, both as an assistant coach and as a player for Muffet McGraw. And brings her team in to this with the highest net ranking of any team in the ACC. Nine games. With a leg injury earlier. Citron has been hot her last three games plus almost 60% from the floor. The Wolf intercepts it. Thought about challenging Jefferson, who was Paul. Thought twice about it. Yeah, a little <laughs> Kick bit. Kick it back out. Good a decision. A little bit of a height advantage there. And so Citron sets up for Watson. Rodago hanging out in the right corner. Westbell drives with her left hand. Big knockdown. When Citron, Hidalgo, and Westbelt all score in double figures, Notre Dame is 13-3 and three on the season. That is a recipe for success for the Irish. Absolutely. The big three. There's Olivia behind Niel Ivey. And what a great announcement that was made when just a couple of days ago when Olivia told Coach to go ahead and release it. Yes, yeah, she is coming back next year. There's been so much speculation, so many rumors. Citron, hello. Sonia Citron has arrived. She's here to play. Had a great ACC tournament last year. And the first player out to celebrate with Sonia Citron is Olivia Meyer. She's hit a couple of threes. Two turnovers for Louisville have turned into five Notre Dame points. And they have yet to hit from the floor. There's Cochran guarded by Westfeld. That's a very interesting matchup. Shot clock into single digits now for Curry. The Cal transfer who is checked in. That missed badly. Marissa Russell comes in. And right now we're getting the looks that we want, but we just have to take our time. The two turnovers were causing ourselves to get sped up. Kelly, you've played in this environment before. The key in these early games, get the kids on your side. <laughs> Very early. Hidalgo popped free. Rimmed out. Louisville played yesterday against Boston College. Notre Dame has not played since Sunday when they hosted and beat Louisville. Almost another turnover, and ultimately it is. Matt Marshall knocked it away. That's four giveaways now for Louisville. And Notre Dame, five on four right now with Cochran running late into the play. Westbell will go win for three. Cochran is generally guarding Westbell. Westfeld was open as Cochran fell down. Westfeld makes him pay. Westfeld second team all ACC. Louisville gets the field goal finally. Shot clock again winding down to Wolf guarded by Taylor. Somehow finds a way to the basket. Excellent change of pace by DeWolf being patient. Curry, ball fake, 
Hidalgo stayed with her. Cochran banked it in. Cochran called glass. Got some loft on that shot. Had to get it over the Notre Dame defense. And Louisville starting to find their offense a bit here. Very slow start. They didn't have a field goal until the field was well half over. Hidalgo so quick up by two defenders. But Hidalgo still makes her pay because she's that quick getting to the rim. She's quicker than the guards that try to check her. That is a big time move to the basket by Harris. Nyla Harris so tough inside. She is a tough cover and there's Hidalgo just using her speed and doing one of the things she does best. She hit 12 of those 15, 26 points last week. She is lethal in the ball screen. Here's that screen, they switch it. Cochran tries to stay in front of her. Hidalgo takes her with one crossover, gets to that second level, and then scores on the bigger defender and says, and one Pam, you can't guard. <laughs> Just the third team foul for Notre Dame. Curry draws contact. And it's a travel, not a foul. Curry shifted her feet. They need Jada Curry to get going. She's one of the best shooters on this team. Could use some offense from her. Curry's first year after being at Cal Berkeley for a couple of years. Here we go. Final seconds. Hidalgo picks up her dribble. Gets the shot off. Notre Dame up nine after one quarter of play. Hannah's got six. She is so quick. Such a great finisher. Notre Dame's debut here is the four seed. This is our first semifinal. They will play the winner of our second game. Better ball screen defense that time by Louisville on Hidalgo. Forced her to give the ball up. That's what you want to do. Somehow get the ball out of Hidalgo's hands. After a fairly hot start, Notre Dame has cooled off from the three. After West Belt miss, winner of this game gets the winner of Virginia Tech Miami tomorrow on semifinal Saturday. Cards lost her dribble. Kylie Watson picks it up. Damn, this is what happens at the ACC tournament. We're just sitting here, and Sylvia Hatchell. Sylvia Hatchell just walked right by. by us. She's sitting courtside. North Carolina coaching legend. Coach Ivory Latta and I, Liv Tatelbaum. I love hearing Ivory's stories about her and Coach Hatchell. They're still so close, talk all the time. It's a great relationship. West Coast had it knocked out of her hands. Both teams shooting under 30%. Another offensive rebound. Hidalgo attacking the rim. We'll go to the line again. Let's go over to Angel Gray. As Hannah Hidalgo is at the line right now, how about the ACC Rookie of the Year as well as the Defensive Player of the Year? Also giving away these amazing earrings. This is her staple. She wears them everywhere. We actually saw her having, she had them on during warm-ups during the game. She can't play in them, so that's the only downfall. More and fouls than points. And that was Hidalgo Freeman's. Yeah. Underneath, there you go. Mr. Lolo. From Sydney Taylor. What a pass by Sydney Taylor. The misdirection, a little no look through the lane. Notre Dame gives it up. Four turnovers in the last minute and a half for Notre Dame after they had zero in the first quarter. Finally, Notre Dame gets the bucket. It's Citron. And she backs up over Marshall and hits the three. Okay, Jada Curry has Matt Marshall on. Back to all freshman of the year out there for future ACC member Cal. KK Ramsford. Hidalgo's going to come in at the next whistle. Curry, short. Westbelt gets... The rebound. Hidalgo looks like a racehorse at the Kentucky Derby who is in the gate and can't wait yes. to get into the game. I'm, I really doubt she plays in the ACC tournament. Doesn't seem to be season ending. Of course, we don't know yet. Hopefully, we'll know more. But I'm still hopeful as a fan, man, that she could play in those. Both those jerseys should be in the Raptors the second they play their last game. In a 
their Virginia Tech uniform. And I'm already seeing quite a few Virginia Tech fans here in the crowd who I'm assuming bought tickets for the whole tournament. Yeah, Hokie Nation has really shown up this year. Lots of sellouts at home. They're traveling well. There were a ton of them at UVA on Sunday. Yes, that crowd was amazing. Also some UVA fans there. Just an incredible crowd. I believe the biggest crowd we've ever seen for a women's basketball game in the state of Virginia. There's a shot clock violation. The second biggest crowd was the 1994 title game when North Carolina got yes. that miracle shot to beat Louisiana Tech. And it was broken in Charlottesville last Sunday. Adago to Bransford. Boy, Cochran did her best. Adago so fast to go out to the perimeter. Guards ran into Citron and threw the ball away. Citron drives, gets pull up, leaves it short. Now Taylor with Hidalgo guarding her and a good no call. Shot clock winding down inside a minute and a half to go. Hidalgo goes into hyperspeed and gets fouled again. Fouled by Ricards and Hidalgo goes back to the line yet again where she is six for six. Yeah, that's something that's always interesting to look at, the fouls drawn. And Hidalgo is a master at that. Again, when they played last week against Louisville, she was 12 of 15. Today, she's 8 for 8 from the line. Russell drives into the lane and charges. Drawn by Marshall. What color is Muffet wearing? Oh, green. Okay. okay. She has a lot of green. <laughs> She's allowed. The Wolves, Bing. Adalco attacks right, draws a little defense, creates an open look for Anna the Wolf. They have doubled up the lead. Adalco still getting those hands in there. Harris back in, playing with two fouls. Hidalgo trying to put the hammer down at the end of the second quarter. Westbelt collects. And now Louisville can hang on for the last shot. Louisville just seven points in this quarter. Cochran, long two, no. The cards can't. Yes, she did. She took it right away from the wolf. But couldn't score. Notre Dame doubling up Louisville, leading 34 to 17, and not being disrupted defensively. He also said we have to stop swatting down. Nine fouls committed. Notre Dame is 10 for 10 from the free throw line, and eight for eight, courtesy of Hannah Hidalgo, who has drawn five fouls just on her own. Here she is with the basketball. Winner of this game gets Miami, Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech is in the building. Liz Kitley walked into the building. She walked in. A little bit of a limp, I think, but we shall see, as Pam and I said, not really thinking she's going to play today, but we'll keep you posted. And hang in there. That is our second game. Citron now with a dozen points. And another turnover. Hannah Hidalgo is going to score. She is going to win almost any foot race in this league and maybe the country. And Hannah Hidalgo is up there applying pressure. And Sydney Taylor stepped over the line as she was trying to pass the ball in to Nina Ricard. You just see the constant defensive pressure from Hannah Hidalgo. She gets the bucket and then she's applying that pressure to where Sydney Taylor had to think twice about the inbounds pass. Another turnover. Yeah, forcing that turnover without even getting her hands on the ball. That's how Incredible. disruptive she is. Her motor, she never stops going. Most players, 99% of players, they score and they get back past half court. They don't just stay and linger and make your life miserable. Hidalgo with 24 20 point games this season. Had a triple double. Her very first collegiate game. There are so many stats about Hidalgo that impress me. The, the craziest one might be that she has not scored in single digits all season. Right, that is very. She's a freshman. Yes. But something might happen, foul trouble, maybe you're blowing an opponent out, something. Watson 
bottled up by Olivia Cochran, who's tremendous. Here comes her cards. Taylor got it. And the whistle. Sydney Taylor. I really like how aggressive Sydney Taylor has been. Bowsnell on Hidalgo. Westfeld and Cochran battle for the rebound. Cards bottled up. The dog will flew by Taylor. Good patience by Taylor, but she couldn't get the shot to follow. Neither could the cards. Keep an eye on Louisville's misses. Almost everything they miss is short. They had a battle. What a pass by Hannah Hidalgo. But Louisville had a battle with Boston College yesterday. Notre Dame is fresh. They have the double bye. Feels like those legs are starting to affect Louisville. And it does make a difference. You've played in these it tournaments It does. It before. really does. Day two, what's that like? Day two, you're exhausted. It, you don't have any other situation like this in the season. Oh, you get a big yeah. rebound oh, there from Olivia Cochran. You might play back-to-back -back in your Thanksgiving tournament, but most of the time you have a day in between. Oh, that's another sweet assist from Hannah. West Coast. Oh, awesome. Doggo now with six assists. Taylor makes a sweet move. How about that? Sydney Taylor. Pride of Long Island with nine points. Boston College two straight games where they took Louisville down to the wire. Louisville, a team that certainly can come back from deficits. That'll help. Curry. LeBron. <laughs> Just a guy named Steph yeah. Curry who can absolutely he's, shoot it. He's on it. Citron does not get the roll. Cochran, right, nice oh, from the baseline. Led by 17 at the half. Bransford over Cochran, banked it in. <laughs> Put your palms to the sky. Here's the thing, when you bank it in, you have to act like, I absolutely meant to do that. You yeah. can't give him the shrug. You gotta say, yeah, I called class. <laughs> Curry picks up her dribble, shot clock winding down. Oops, and Andre, that is a terrific play. So impressed with Nyla Harris. Great stuff, Angel. Yeah, Nyla Harris, she and Olivia Cochran to me are very similar in how they work and their motor, and they both represent Louisville basketball and how Jeff Walls wants his players to play. And Harris, just a sophomore, another turnover now for Notre Dame. They've gotten a little sloppy with the ball. Mr. Russell fouled on the follow. And again, that's another reason why Louisville has to attack. We know Notre Dame does not have depth. You have to continue to attack and put the pressure on them by getting to the free throw line. Three fouls on Kylie Watson. Russell Russell. 74% free throw shooter, Russell. Crosser, Miles, and then Emma Risch, who's a, a freshman as well, who's going to play a good right. bit as a shooter. All three of those guards out for Notre Dame. Yeah, Risch had season-ending hip surgery in early January. There's a three for Westville. Really love. Gets it back to Russell. Draws a foul, and she'll go back. Tim, this would be close to a single-digit game if Louisville would make their free throws. They're four for ten right now from the free throw line. Maddie, the last three games, 16 points, 57 percent from the floor for Westfeld. Westfeld misses that time. Curry full speed ahead. After only committing five in the entire first half. Curry at the line, and again, you, you mentioned this, let this sink in. As a freshman, she led the Pac-12 in scoring. Yes. Uh, she come can, on. She can fill it up. She can absolutely score. And it's been an adjustment coming to Louisville. I think they just teed up Jeff Walls. Well, Jeff Walls was being very animated the entire not time. Happy. And then Katie Lukanek just teed him up. Oh yeah, that you should not you you should not be allowed to do that. 
Nice Bransford look. basically took the ball out and then came back inbound and gave the ball back to one of her teammates. I, I can see why he's frustrated with a no call there. And he was correct that that should he have was. been a turnover. However, he ran onto the court. Right. So the technical foul, Citron got one out of two free throws, tipped by Russell, who then retreats. So we approach a minute to go in the third quarter. And it's tough, Pam, because just as Louisville was gaining some ground, you get those free throws back to Notre Dame. Can't cash in. And now Curry running into Hidalgo. a calmer version of Jeff Walls. Again, I get his frustration. That should have been a turnover. But I also get why the officials team him up after his reaction. Yeah, you, you, yes. Can't run onto the floor like that and um, and we didn't even hear what he was saying. 12 point advantage. It has been as high as 22 for the Irish. Another whistle inside. Marshall and six turnovers for Notre Dame in this quarter after they did a really good job of hanging on the ball in the first half. They only turned it over five times. Taylor, another aggressive move to the basket. And Louisville continuing to get downhill. And now you have a lot of these Notre Dame guards that are playing with two or three fouls, so they're more hesitant in how they can guard you. Ten-point lead. Hidalgo with the ball in her hand. Shot clock off. Screen from Westfeld. Hannah attacks the basket. Not close. And what a play by Miley Watson. Off balance, falling to the floor. Olivia Miles comes out to greet her. And she hits it to beat the buzzer. Like you said, eight points was so aggressive. Drew a bunch of fouls. And Hannah Hidalgo only three points in the third. Only took two shots. Let's see if they can get Hidalgo more involved in the fourth. She's playing with three fouls as well as Hidalgo. Guarded out there by Nyla Harris, who's a just a premier perimeter defender. Watson had the wild shot to finish the third and gets one that's almost as crazy to start the fourth. The last time these two played, which was back on Sunday, Kylie Watson had 10 points and four rebounds. Had a great game against Louisville just a week or less than a week ago. Yeah, that was on Sunday afternoon. Notre Dame winning that game to earn the fourth seed and the double bye in this tournament. Another whistle. Watson just picked up her fourth foul. Mm. Second year at Notre Dame after a couple of years at Oregon. Here's Harris at the free throw line. And Watson had just started getting going on the offensive end. Now she's going to have to sit for the majority of this fourth quarter. It's going to be a lot of Nat Marshall for Notre Dame. Harris gets them both. They have forced Hidalgo to take the mid-range. Lay off of her a bit. You want her to shoot the rock instead of letting her get to the rim and to the line. Westfeld gets the basket now. Her chance for a three-point play. The numbers this year are the best since her freshman year. Marshall tried to save it in. Curry continues to be aggressive to the basket, continues to draw fouls. Third foul on DeWolf. Three-point play for Curry. She's got ten points. And it's very difficult to go. Oh, how can anybody do that? Citron rolls one in. Look at the spin move. And the finish. She's just so skilled. This is a great move by Sonia Citron. Currently, Notre Dame's leading scorer on the afternoon. Hopper got in a little bit too early. Citron makes a pay, getting the free throw. If not, stop. Jada Curry, actually, for Mikasa, she's played against Notre Dame in this tournament three times. The rivalry is there, and let us not be remiss. The Big East rivalry as well, with both teams coming in 13 and 14 guys. Oh, this is without a doubt a rivalry. Louisville and Notre Dame, there's really no love lost between these two. And Jada Curry, when it's your night, it's your night. How about getting the roll from Jada Curry? She has definitely got them back into this ball game. Hidalgo gets fouled again. Four on Olivia Cochran. And she will be back next year to Louisville. 
to use her final year of eligibility, which is great news. We have spent all five years in the bill. And Louisville will return Nyla Harris as well and Jada Curry, but those are both very young players. Bravo, one out of two. Averaging 24 points per game. He's only got 14 in this one. Curry. Hot as can be. Goodness. Jada Curry. Citron. Ooh, terrific move. Stayed with it for a follow opportunity and another whistle. Eight points in the third quarter, ten so far in the fourth. 18 in the second half, man. Wow. Maybe Love just committed her. Sonia gets the ball. What a game by Sonia Citron as well. 19 points for her. 20 now with that last free throw. Curry at the line. Get Notre Dame in foul trouble, and Jada Curry has been the catalyst. And another turnover. Jada Curry made this turnover happen. She got in that passing lane, made Hannah Hidalgo think twice, and then you see how excited she is with the passion from Jada Curry. Oh my. <laughs> 14 points in this quarter for Curry. It's a six point lead. Hidalgo trying to draw another foul, doesn't, but gets it to roll in. Curry has 14 of Louisville's 16 points here in the fourth quarter and is outscoring Notre Dame. They only have 12 points in this quarter. Russell for three! Gets it! Jada Curry gives it up. Notre Dame sells out to stop Curry. She gives it to Russell, knocks it down. Now we have a ball game. Five-point lead. Notre Dame led by 13 at the half, or 17 at the half, pardon me. It was 34-17. Led by as many as 22 in that second quarter. Hannah! Big shot. Massive shot. Knocks down the long two. He's now got 18. Curry, her only mistake of the second half, certainly. Just lost the ball out of bounds. Hidalgo missed everything. And then they're going to call a foul on Watson as Harris crashed to the floor. And that's the fifth on Kylie Watson. I think their feet just kind of caught each other here. That oh, that's <laughs> not a foul. That's not a foul. But that is a fifth foul on Watson. And that Marshall comes back in. Now Louisville will not have their starting center for the rest of this game. Or sorry, Notre Dame, excuse me. Harris gets a both. Back to a five-point advantage with just over three minutes left to go. Winner goes to the semis. Tomorrow, to play either Virginia Tech or Miami. The Wolf. All the way across court to Citron, who drove the baseline to perfection. What a catch and a play by Citron to catch that ball and then go right into her move and get to the rim. Curry tried to hand it off inside. They're going to call another foul. Harris right back to the line where she just hit two. with the rebound, gets it over to Citron. Citron with the spin move and then ran full four. And here, such a smart player. Great defensive player. Taylor saw a little bit of a, an alley and took it. So he's got 13. It's only a four-point advantage. 
Notre Dame being outscored by eight in this quarter. Citron leads left. Bransford open. She missed everything, but Westbelt came up with the rebound. Curry stuck her hands in there. No ball, possession, arrow, Notre Dame. Louisville's playing free. They're playing with house money, and you can see the difference right now between these two teams. Louisville had to come from behind to defeat Boston College yesterday just to get to this game. Adago with a magical move. Right back to Curry. And another whistle. Cam, hey, actually, I've just been informed you have four fouls. Oh, really? Yeah. Curry just missed a free throw. One out of two. Ada builds on her season high now with 26 points. And Louisville only 17 of 25 from the free throw line. Make half yeah. of your misses. Think about where you are right now, too. That's 68%. Under a minute to go. Recovery by Lee Lee Love. That was well executed by Notre Dame. Yeah, it looked like Marshall had a clear path. Under three seconds to shoot. Westbelt is fouled by Harris. It looked like Nyla Harris had her hand up on this play. The only thing I could think is maybe she didn't. No, she let her. She let her let her land. So she allowed her to land. Maddie Westbelt. Oh, for two from the line. Only a 79% free throw shooter. Cochran. Using her body. Big free throws here for Louisville. Cochran does just that. Notre Dame has been called for 17 fouls here in the second half. Hidalgo with her cars in trying to grab her. That's the problem. Try to catch Hannah Hidalgo. Trying to trap Hannah Hidalgo. Mm -hmm. That's how you let teams hang around is by missing free throws in these situations. One out of two for Hannah. She's got 21, which is about three points under her season average. And Louisville only has one timeout left. So Jeff Walls is choosing to not call a timeout here to save that. Now Louisville's got to go quickly and get some sort of bucket here. Russell brings it up quickly. Hands it off to Cochran. She's going to go right at Westbound and put it in. Perfect execution by Louisville. And now they can apply some pressure. Notre Dame also only has one timeout. It is a one-possession game and a foul in the backcourt. I could maybe understand fouling, trying to trade threes for two, something like that, but you can't foul Sonia Citron. No. You gotta foul maybe Nat Marshall or Branson. Curry trying to go into the lane, but Bransford was right there to stop her. And that's another technical foul on Jeff. So Citron right back at the free throw line to put it away. I agree with you. I, don't, I did not see a foul there on Curry. But Jeff has been upset. He's been cranky pretty much all day. It's not like he, he's not mad at his team because his team came out and left everything out there in the second half. Would have loved a better start, but the second half was great for Louisville. So associate head coach Stephanie Norman, who has been with him all 17 years at Louisville takes over the first chair. But they're going to run out of time, down seven. Notre Dame. The only way they could have hurt themselves was by losing to Boston College on that first day. They won that game, so they're they're most likely not going to drop. And we'll end up as a six, meaning they have to travel and go on the road for the first and second rounds. Won't be able to host, but anybody who gets Louisville in their bracket. They're not going to be happy. Ended with 21 points, too. Like, we're saying, oh, it's kind of an off night for Hannah Doggo. She had 21 points. Yes. 
if only everyone else could have that kind of an off night. Curry had a terrific game, especially in the second half. She just took it away from Westbell. Hannah gets it. Melissa Russell might be hurt. She hit her elbow on the floor trying to go for the rebound, but a furious comeback by Louisville comes up short. Notre Dame wins it.